Hello everybody, Tim Teacher here. Today we're going to do a poem. I have a poem uh, by a famous beat poet. His name is Allen Ginsberg. This poem is called A Supermarket in California. In my hungry fatigue and shopping for images, I went into the neon fruit supermarket, dreaming of your enumerations. What peaches and what penumbras, whole families shopping at night, aisles full of husbands, wives in the avocados, babies in the tomatoes, and you, Garcia Lorca, what were you doing down by the watermelons? I saw you, Walt Whitman, childless, lonely old grubber, poking among the meats in the refrigerator and eyeing the grocery boys. I heard you asking questions of each, who killed the pork chops? What price bananas? Are you my angel? I wandered in and out of the brilliant stacks of cans following you and followed in my imagination by the store detective. We strode down the open corridors together in our solitary, fancy tasting artichokes, possessing every frozen delicacy and never passing the cashier. Where are we going, Walt Whitman? The doors close in an hour. Which way does your beard point tonight? I touch your book and dream of our odyssey in the supermarket and feel absurd. Will we walk all night through solitary streets? The trees add shade to shade. Lights out in the houses. We'll both be lonely. Will we stroll dreaming of the lost America of love past blue automobiles and driveways, home to our silent cottage? Ah, Dear father, gray beard, lonely old courage teacher, what America did you have when Charan quit pulling his ferry and you got out on a smoking bank and stood watching the boat disappear on the black waters of Lethe? This poem has a lot going on. Basically, what is happening is... Allen Ginsberg seems to have walked into a supermarket, whether he did this for real or not. Uh, you can debate. A lot of times poets do have these experiences for real, and then they sort of uh, elaborate upon them in their poems. So we can imagine Allen Ginsberg going into the market. Uh, he's a poet. He's thinking about things a lot of the time. And as he goes into the supermarket, he begins to think that he sees other poets around Walt Whitman and Garcia Lorca, and he imagines them uh, in the different sections of the store. And then as the poem unfolds, Allen Ginsberg begins to walk uh, solely with uh, Walt Whitman around, another earlier uh, great American poet. Right? Read the poem, read it out loud, give it a try. I hope you like it. It's a good one. Allen Ginsberg is always one of my favorites. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.